Hi this is Bird from Bird's SVGs. In this video I'll be putting together the doily and the menu from the Autumn Leaves SVG collection. So this is like a dinner party pack. Okay so we'll be putting the menu together first and what I did with my menu is I put this white piece through my printer and printed my menu onto it. And then um, before I did that, before I put my cardstock through my printer, I cut the same size out of regular printer paper and then did a practice run to make sure everything was where I wanted it before I put my, my cardstock through my printer. But alternatively, you can handwrite your um, menu onto your menu cards. OK, so I'm just putting some glue around uh, this leaf area here. You don't have to follow the whole outline of the leaves here like I am. Um, you can just add a few dots here and there of glue and that will be sufficient to hold it in place. And then I'm gluing it onto a foil uh, backing card. And one thing that you will find with some of these um, pieces through the collection is that you will have um, lots of leaf shapes um, left on your cutting mat when you when you peel off your, your pieces. And I would recommend saving those because you can use them to decorate your home or, you know, um, scatter them around your table um, to add a bit more colour and festivity. And next I'm moving on to my doily. This comes in two layers. And it comes at a standard 10.3 inches. Um, that's a size that I found worked quite well for a standard like IKEA dinner plate. I picked that as a popular choice but obviously if your plates are different sizes you can alter it and then I also thought because there's a bit more room you can go up to a, you know a good 11 and a half inches depending on the machine you have uh, you could even make it a bit bigger and use it as a placemat to put under your plate um, alternatively you could make it smaller and use it as a coaster or a tea plate um, liner um, so the choice is yours there you've got some um, you've got some options so I'm just following around again all of the leaf areas. I'm probably worrying too much and trying to get glue in too many places because by the time I got around to the end, the glue that I put on at the beginning was starting to dry. But that wasn't actually too bad because it was still tacky, so it still adhered fine. And again, look at all, all of the um, leaf shapes that you have left behind when you peel your doily off your cutting mat. So you have all of those um, that you can use. I, you, you'll see at the end of this video, you'll see that I actually um, pop some of mine around the base of a candle. Obviously, um, be careful if you're burning anywhere near paper or card. Um, but you could use them in, in lots of ways to, to decorate your table or any home decor pieces. You know, put them around a, a picture frame. or. Uh, so there you have it. That's the finished doily. And then this is the finished menu. I pop mine onto a little easel that I had. And I hope these, you know, come in handy with your autumn or Thanksgiving uh, dinner parties.